Hi, I'm Henry, and I'm the CEO of Richline Labs. Today, I'm excited to show you how we think Rover is going to transform the future of pet ownership. So everyone loves dogs. I mean, literally 40% of the internet is just funny dog videos. However, providing a real dog with a good life is a huge amount of responsibility. That's why we created Rover, the first high-quality VR dog simulator. <laughs> In Rover, users can have the dog ownership experience from within their own VR headset. Now, we're building Rover off of our proprietary AI architecture, specifically for creating compelling and interactive VR characters. This architecture can also be used to create compelling AR characters as well. Now, Rover isn't just cute. He's also really smart. That's because we're building, uh, we're utilizing powerful machine learning and NLP algorithms to create a VR dog that learns how to behave from your actions. We're in Rover, you can also feed your dog, pet your dog, teach it tricks, and do so much more. Rover will also offer multiplayer, so you can set up virtual playdates with your friend's VR dogs. <laughs> now I'd like to show you what it would really feel like to own a VR dog. <laughs> this, is what you hap this is what happens when you don't let your kid have a dog when they're growing up. <laughs> so VR is a rapidly expanding market. Over 11 million headsets have already been sold. However, the majority of these headset owners are men aged 25 to 35. Consequently, the vast majority of VR titles available out there are either hardcore shooter games, zombie games, or other sci-fi games. However, we think that there is a huge untapped market in VR, casual gamers. In fact, some of the most popular games in history, such as The Sims and Candy Crush, were created specifically for casual gamers. So to capture this casual gamer market, we're defining a new genre for VR, cute VR. <laughs> so pet games like Rover have been astronomically popular throughout history across all kinds of platforms. For example, Nintendogs was a dog simulator game for the Nintendo DS, and that was the second best-selling title on the platform right after Super Mario Brothers. We think the same will hold true, that pet games will be very popular on VR, and we want to be the first to offer a high-quality VR pet game. We plan on selling digital copies of Rover on online marketplaces such as Steam. We also plan on offering in-game purchases in the form of collectibles and cosmetics for your virtual dog. We also believe that a, subscri a subscription-based model would also be viable for Rover. We've already been covered by some of the biggest VR news outlets, such as Upload VR. We've also seen tons of positive feedback from social media sites and online forums, such as Reddit. The reactions that we've seen in person from in-person demos that we've done, such as those that we saw at, have been extremely positive, such as those that we observed at the MGH Children's Hospital. We're seeking $500,000 for 18 months financing. This will allow us to expand our team and release Rover as the first multiplayer VR pet game on the most popular VR platforms. This will also allow us to invest in our AI architecture, which can be licensed out to create VR experiences for other companies as well. Like real dogs, people love Rover. We hope that after this presentation, you'll stop by and play with our virtual dog. Also, we just launched our Kickstarter campaign, and we'd really appreciate it if you backed us there as well. 
We hope that you'll join us as we work towards letting everyone know the joy that is dog ownership. Thank you.